Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Wealthy Sailor. As always, I am John, and this is my YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who are new and might not be, or this is your first time tuning into my channel, uh, basically what it is, is uh, three times a week I release a video talking about business or, um, or budgeting, finances, stuff like that. Um, my credentials are back in the Navy. Uh, for years I taught how to uh, budget and uh, use personal finances correctly. Uh, the reason is because a lot of times you get new people into the Navy who may not have ever worked before and they um, they just don't really handle their money all that well or uh, well some case the worst case scenario is that they have to spend all their money and don't have enough money to eat for the rest of the week or the two weeks. Um, some less harsh uh, scenarios is they actually end up buying like an overpriced car without checking the like APR or even understanding how interest works stuff like that. So every day I pick a topic, some of the topics are suggested by other people, some are just conversations I've had with people that I work with or that I know. Um, some things are just based off news articles or whatever's trending, whatever I want to talk about, I talk about because it's my channel. So that's what I'm going to do. So moving on. Uh, me and my fiance have this uh, kind of a running joke where whenever we want to do something, whether it's working out, eating better, uh, saving money, stuff like that, we always say we'll start Monday. Uh, and I've noticed that this is actually a trend that happens with a lot of other people. Like I, I've heard it many times where they always say, I want to do something starting and then they pick something another day to start on. Not the day that they decide to do this, but some later time. There are benefits for this. When I decided to start a YouTube channel, I said, okay, I'm going to start in June. June 1st was going to be my first day doing it. The reason I did that was because I decided this in like May. So I had 30 days to make videos, learn how to edit, have some trial and error, build some uh, a back catalog before I start releasing. That's good for me with my current job because sometimes I get busy and I don't always have time to come up with a video uh, the day before I want to release it. So it's nice to have a back catalog. Um, but in a lot of cases it's not good. In fact, I hear this a lot when it comes um, to uh, financial things where people are like, okay, well next month I really have to start saving. And I really dislike, even though it's something I do, like I am, I am very much a culprit that does this. Me and my fiance both are. Um, I really dislike when people say stuff like, oh, well, I'll start this time or I, I'll do this or anything like this. And I think when it comes to your finance, this happens in a lot of cases. It could be something as small as, oh, next month I'll stop eating out as much. Or something as big or important as like, okay, well, next semester I'll start, you know, going back to school or I'll take this certification or I'll start studying for this license or whatever you want to do for personal development and advancement. But people find it's very easy to push things off. I remember when I was in the Navy, uh, for those of you who don't understand how the Navy advancement system works, which I'm assuming a lot of my viewership are actually people I know from the Navy, so you guys already know this, but you would um, actually, uh, you'd get better advancement results or uh, more points towards, towards advancement if you did college classes. But it was always super hard to talk somebody into doing college classes. Like in the military, providing you've been there for a certain amount of time, some place set different rules than others. But for the most part, taking classes is free. Um, clepping classes is like super free. And what I mean by that is that you only have to really file any paperwork to get that for free. You just show up there and do it. But it was still super difficult to get people to want to do it. Um, and what I heard more often than not is they're like, okay, next semester I'm going to do it, next semester I'm going to do it. But they never actually sign up for it, they never actually do it. I'm like, geez, this video is going to have a lot of edits, I keep burping. Okay, so back to what I was saying. But people tend not to do it, and it's always because they're pushing things off. And I think um, people tend to think that something is really difficult. And um, most things aren't. Um, even saving money, like all of my financial goals, none of them were particularly difficult or complex. The reason that people say it's hard is because it takes a long time. Same with eating better, same with working out, uh, same with c completing your education. I don't think any of these four things are hard tasks um, in the sense that they're difficult. They're hard because they just take so long and they require you to be motivated for something for a long period of time. Which brings us to kind of my what I want to talk about and it's laziness. We all suffer from laziness. Laziness is like a symptom of procrastination, or maybe procrastination is a symptom of laziness. I think it's that one. I think procrastination is a symptom of laziness. 
But the thing is, is that we all have to motivate ourselves to actually start doing this stuff. And I really don't think waiting in almost any case is possible. Of course, if you're trying to, uh, let's say you want to get your real estate license, I wouldn't suggest you sign up for the test tomorrow, but I would definitely suggest you start studying for it immediately and pick a hard date to take the test. I'm a big fan of the motto, fake it until you make it. And although some people disagree with that because they're like, no, take some time out and learn about what you're going to do. And I do think you should learn about what you do. But on a sense of staying motivated to complete something, I think fake it till you make it kind of works. It kind of applies to a lot of stuff. It's like, okay, let's say you're not ready to start your college education again, or you're not ready to get that plumbing license certification that you want to get. Well, just go for it. Like, just sign up for the test. Either you'll force yourself to study, or maybe you won't, and you'll do off one test. But that's okay to do off one test in some cases because at least you know what you're coming out with. You know, like, okay, this, these are the kind of questions they ask and stuff like that, and you can use that down the line. But I do think that uh, procrastination and being lazy and always saying, oh, I'll start something on Monday, it's, just, it's a very poor motto to have. And um, on this channel, I really preach against it because although we talk about finance and stuff like that, really what I want to do is I want people to watch my videos and be like, you know what? He talked for 20 minutes, but he said that one thing that kind of made sense. The rest was bull, but he said that one thing that kind of made sense. And I, I feel like we all need to do that with each other. Like we need to listen to each other talk and be like, you know what? You're right. Like I need to do more. And that kind of brings me to my final point, and I want to talk about success. And I was trying to think about this, and this is pure speculation. So if you want, like, facts, this is not the part of the video to listen to. But I'm just going off people I know in my personal life, friends, co-workers, uh, people from the military, stuff like that. And everybody measures the word success differently. Like, what's successful to me might be what's successful, not, might not be what's successful to you. But I have noticed that a lot of people who are successful are the people that are inquisitive, they take it upon themselves to learn new things. Um, and to be honest, in my career, a lot more kind of greedy in the sense that they're like, okay, well, I'm making this much now, I wanna make more, how do I do that? So in my career field, it's all about getting new certifications, new licenses, new qualifications, you know, it's all about learning more because uh, you get paid more based on that. And a lot of people spend that their time off doing that. But some don't. Some are just happy not doing not doing anything. Well, I wouldn't say not doing anything because they're still employed, obviously, and they're making a decent living, but not continually fighting to improve themselves. And not everybody's going to do that. And I think that's where the, the disconnect is, is that I was trying to figure out how many, like what's the percentage of the population that are like that, the ones that are always trying to better themselves and everything. And I bet you it's less than half. I'm not sure how to measure it, but I bet you less than half of all the people, at least from where I'm from, the northeast part of the country, I think more than half of the people are sort of content with their life, especially at younger ages. They don't have it um, in their head that, no, you need to keep doing something. Because a delay between people who spend the age from 18 to 25 not setting themselves up for later, when they, if they start at 25, they're already years behind like years behind anybody else, or at least the people that are fighting. So, you know, it's really important that instead of pushing stuff off, you start making changes, good changes, positive changes, as quickly as possible. If you want to take a new class, take the new class. You want to start eating better, do that. Save money, work out, spend more time with your families, take that hour a week to meditate or do yoga, whatever it is you want to do, start it immediately because every day you wait is worth 10 days on the back end or 20 days on the back end and it's just wasting time anyway guys if you made it to this point in the video you're an mvp so i appreciate that um give me a like share subscribe if you want um you know hit that dislike button if you want i i, I don't care well, i do care a little bit because it does affect the algorithm for how much this how many people see this video but uh this is my channel, so I'm going to make it about whatever I want, whether you like it or not. Um, leave me a comment if you want me to talk about something or if you have any information you want to put, I'm totally for that. Uh, as I say before, I'm not an expert, and um, a lot of this stuff's my opinion combined with my experience, so I'm always open to learning new things from new people. 
But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe and keep saving.